Hey everyone, I wanted to talk a little bit today about the lymphatic system and how to move lymph in a way that will benefit the whole body overall as well as your immune system. But first, a quick disclaimer. I am not a doctor, I'm a personal trainer and I love offering my tips about fitness and yoga and wellness overall. But if you are having some other issues going on with your lymphatic system like chronically swollen glands, night sweats, um, bruising, chest pains, things like that, or just any kind of chronic swelling of the glands, please, please go to your doctor and get tested and make sure it's not something serious. What I'm going to be offering today is some tips for how to use a trampoline to move lymph. I'm also going to be talking about some very basic herbs that you can take to help clear any lymphatic stagnation and swelling. So first, what is the lymphatic system? We often don't hear much about this. And if you don't know what it is, don't worry, you're not alone. So if you can think back to a time when you had a cold or a flu, and maybe you had a sore throat and sinus congestion and upper respiratory uh, issue going on. And these little guys here, these glands here, might have been swollen and painful to the touch. So those are some of your lymph glands. We have them systemically. We have them in the inguinal crease, we have them in the chest, we have them in the armpit, the neck, and more places, not just those. But when our body is fighting off an infection, those will get swollen and, and a little bit tender sometimes. And that's means that the body is doing its job. White blood cells are fighting off this bacteria or virus so that it can get, get it out of the body. Now, one thing to know about the lymphatic system is that unlike the circulatory system, which uses the heart to pump blood through the body, the lymphatic system does not have a pump. So it relies on us moving to, to circulate that lymph fluid through the body. So the lymph is going to be carrying out cellul cellular waste and toxins and all sorts of junk and get it out of our body. You can think of it kind of as like the sewer system of the body. So if we're not active, if we're not moving or kind of sedentary, then sometimes what can happen is we can get some stagnation or chronic swelling and things like that because there's something going on with that lymph system that that fluid is not getting pushed through the body and uh, allowed to move out of those glands. So that brings me to my next point, the trampoline. Okay, you may have jumped on one of these when you were a kid. I did. <laughs> long, long time ago, I remember my family had one. But there are all different kinds of trampolines and you can spend anywhere from like $30 to $600. I'm gonna put several links in the description below the video for a couple different price points. To be honest, I want this to be affordable and accessible to everyone. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You can go to a store near you, pick up a really, really inexpensive trampoline and get the benefits. If you want to spend more, great, that's awesome. But also know that if you have any kind of balance issues, they do make trampolines with a handle. Check them out and that may be really good for you if you struggle with joint issues or balance issues. What I'm going to do is describe a couple different ways to use the trampoline and describe what you might feel when you're using it. Okay, everyone, so why bother jumping on the trampoline? Well, first of all, it moves lymph like crazy. When I started jumping on this thing, which was pretty recently, I found that I would feel this sensation here in my throat and then here in my chest. And then after I'd keep going and keep going, I felt it more kind of like right here, which is exactly where there are lymph vessels here and along here and of course the neck. But as I would jump, the sensations would change. It would move from one place to another and then to another. And then I'd keep going, keep going, and then I would feel great. And I would end up jumping more and jumping higher. So just notice when you start that you may feel some sensation. You may also find that your sinuses clear up a little bit too. That's another thing you might experience. But in addition to that, for jumping on the trampoline, in addition to moving lymph, it is so good for your immune system. It's gonna be moving that lymph, which will in turn boost your immune system. Make sure there's nothing stuck in those lymphatic channels and glands. The other great benefit to the trampoline is that it is so good for improving leg strength and core strength and improving your cardiovascular system. I have to admit, when I got the trampoline, I was like, this should be like no problem, this will, this will be easy. But I found it to be pretty challenging at first. And I gradually and gradually increased my minutes and I can tell you right now that I jump every day for at least five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes or 15 minutes, but at least five minutes. And it always leaves me feeling better. It gets my heart rate up 
and kind of gets me charged up and feeling really, really good. Sometimes if I'm feeling kind of sluggish in the middle of the day, I might get on and jump for a little bit and then I feel kind of refreshed and renewed. It kind of just helps clear your energy, move your energy where it may have been stuck previously. The other nice thing about a trampoline is that it is gentle on your joints. So if you are trying to get in shape and you're, but you don't want to just go out for a run, a trampoline is a great way to get cardiovascular benefit while being nice to your joints. Now, if you're just starting out on the trampoline, what I recommend you do, and I know I don't have a whole lot of height in that camera frame right there, so I'm not going to go too crazy, is I recommend you just start jumping while leaving your feet on the trampoline and just lifting up your heels. So the foot isn't going to lift off just yet. And just do that for a minute, maybe two, and see how you feel. Just kind of get used to the movement and see what you notice in your body. So this right here is pretty good. The legs are working and my core is working as well. As you kind of get warmed up, you can graduate to a heftier jump. And you can even do different things with the legs, you can crisscross, you can do different patterns, all sorts of fun stuff. But I'll let you kind of explore that on your own. I just wanted to give a brief highlight about that. Now I'm going to show you two modifications. If staying on a trampoline isn't safe for you, there are ways you can get the benefits while still respecting your body. So here's the first modification. What you can do is get yourself a nice chair, something sturdy, perhaps more sturdy than this stool I'm sitting on, but something that is nice and sturdy and won't move, and have a seat on it and place your feet on the trampoline. And then from here, you can go ahead and bounce the legs. You could even do different patterns. You can go forward and back. You could crisscross. And as I'm doing this, I'm holding my abs in <laughs> a little bit. So, it's just a really good way to safely get the benefits of the trampoline while not putting yourself in any kind of danger. Um, now let me show you modification number two. Okay, here's the second modification. If someone doesn't have difficulty getting down on the ground, this one might be good for you. You're just going to sit on the trampoline and then happily bounce around. <laughs> you can mix it up. But what you're doing here is you're getting a lot of core movement, um, some leg and some glute movement too. But I definitely am feeling the core and a little bit in the legs as well. So that's just another way you can get those benefits while still staying in a kind of a safe place. And the last thing I wanted to mention is just some over-the-counter herbs that you can take that really help with lymphatic swelling as well as it's just good support for the immune system. So I found this lately at a health food store near me. It's by Herbs Etc. and it's called Lymphotonic. I'll put a link to that below. It has been wonderful. I was having some issues with my lymph swelling and after going to my doctor and ruling out that it wasn't something more serious, I picked up some of this stuff and it has helped got not only sinuses moving, but it just helped my immune system overall and it has reduced the swelling in my lymph nodes. So this also may be good to have on hand if say people are sick at the office or your kid is sick or something like that and you're trying to keep yourself nice and strong. So I hope that that helps encourage you to get a little mini trampoline. Again, links will be below uh, this video if you want to pick one up through Amazon. Um, but it's been such a really wonderful part of my daily routine and I really recommend it for overall health, immune system, cardiovascular, and just basic general toning. It's been really, really good. So I hope that, that helps you. And if you have any questions, leave it for me below this video. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for coming along on this journey. And so happy to have you with me. I'll talk to you soon.